Athletics, more specifically running, truly is a global sport, but it can be very difficult to achieve success at the highest levels. That is where EnduroCAD comes in, an elite running program that aims to identify and develop world-class long-distance runners. And today I'm here at the Stellenbosch Academy of Sport to find out how a personalized training program and science can play a role in developing the top athlete. EnduroCAD was started by Ilana Meyer, former world champion runner who won a silver medal at the 92 Olympics. So Ilana, EnduroCAD, it is a very exciting endeavor from your side. I'm sure you're enjoying it as well. But in a nutshell, what is EnduroCAD all about and what is its aim? You know, EnduroCAD is the first of its kind. It's a high performance endurance academy. So EnduroCAD is, is really to give athletes the opportunity to develop into world-class mm. athletes. And here where we are standing, this is where some of the magic happens in terms of the training of the athletes. Um, absolutely. I think, you know, to, to become a world-class athlete, you need to be in an environment where you can um, develop to the fullest. And we work with experts um, to achieve that. With state-of-the-art facilities, it's an optimum environment with scientific coaching from well-known sports scientists like Dr. Ross Tucker, who has done extensive research on human performance. Dr. Ross, I know that being a professional long-distance runner, it takes so much more than just getting out on the road and run. There's science involved, and that is where you come in. How has science helped in terms of identifying and developing long-distance runners? So our philosophy there is that as long as we can have the best athletes together with the best coach, we're 90% of the way to creating champions. The next 10% is the scientific and medical support. And so once we've got good athletes in the system, how do we use science and medicine to optimize what the coach does? Can we measure how much they're training, how they're responding to the training? Mm. Is the diet good? Is the psychology and their life skills in place? So it's all those little aspects that contribute to the whole, which we are able to systematically measure and then give the coach that information so that he can make decisions. So take me through the process step by step. How do you go about identifying long distance runners using science? We put them on a treadmill and we make them run faster and faster and faster. It's called a maximal test. And while they're doing that, they wear a mask that measures the oxygen that they breathe in and out. And so it's to try and make informed decisions about the athlete using science. Science is one thing, but the right coaching is imperative. And as head coach of EnduroCAD, Ernie Gruen is an endurance master who specializes in training world-class champions. Coach Ernie, I spoke to Ross um, in terms mm -hmm. of the science behind training up top of world-class long-distance runners, but I know there's a lot of different factors involved, but from your side, the coach, the training, mm -hmm. what is involved? How does it work? I think the most important thing is that you have to create a very well-rounded environment for the athlete um, in which he feels comfortable, in which you're providing him with the necessary technical advice in a written format, and then you're providing the oversight to ensure that the program is correctly executed while at the same time giving him the opportunity to give feedback to you. Because in the long run, it's all about consistent execution. What is your secret to success? Because you've coached various athletes to different levels. I mean, how do you approach that? Because you get athletes that are really good, but then you have to take them further. How do you do it? I think, you know, the most important thing lies in understanding the individual athlete and individual assessment. Most athletes uh, have very specific requirements. So you need to be very tailored and make sure that the training program fits the individual physiological requirements of the athlete. And how do you go about identifying a top athlete from an average athlete? Well, the first thing that you obviously look at is physiological values. So you have tests done at the Sports Science Institute, you get the results of those tests, and that gives you your first level to weed people out. And thereafter, you do a number of psychological evaluation tests. Then you take them out and you let them do specific physical workouts. and. On, on all of that information, you combine it and you'll have a session where you sit down and try to pick out the best, the best guys. Now here you have a group of very talented runners. For you as a coach, what is the most challenging part of your job? I think the biggest challenge in my job is making sure that they get an opportunity to consistently follow a training program. I think one of the most challenging aspects in South Africa is we don't have a a culture of excellence in track and field at the moment. But that's one thing the team at EnduroCAD is sure to change. And with their expertise and commitment to athletic excellence, we might just see a South African champion at the next Olympic Games in 2016. Put some good in them with Vital and Buster the Dog's delightfully delicious orange-flavoured emulsion packed with immune-supporting nutrients because good health is vital.